Now, so much has been in the news lately concerning the forthcoming election in Edo State. The Independent National Electoral Commission said it will stop the announcement of results in the election in Edo State scheduled for September the 19th if the election is marred by violence. Now, let's talk about the governorship election in Edo State and how to avoid electoral violence. Political analyst Daniel Akinlami joins me on the news for that. Good to have you join us, Daniel Akinlami. Now, what do you Thank make you. of... Um, what do you make of the rhetoric coming from a do state? I mean, across all parties in a do state. Yeah, let me start first with the state assembly crisis. As it is right now, a do state assembly quagmire might need a political solution, and this is very simple and straightforward. The genesis of this crisis was the inauguration of nine members, why about 14, 15 other members were shot out. Uh, several appeals have gone to the governor to make a fresh proclamation so that those other members can be sworn in. Now, what is playing out is probably having an illegality confronting illegality. Uh, the original inauguration of those nine members have been challenged, even in court. And the National Assembly, too, also waded in. Now, the crisis turned a new leaf last week when the 14 members swung themselves in and appointed a new speaker. Now, what is possible is this. It's probably if APC candidates Pastor Osase Iyamu wins the election, the crisis will probably dissolve. He will have another proclamation that the 14 members majority will be duly sworn in. But if the incumbent governor Obaseki wins, what you will eventually see is that some of the members in the uh, other side will eventually decamp and the assembly would be peaceful. All right. but if, the if, if, solution... Allow me to in here, because now, even just away from the assembly, um, we've seen maybe pockets of violence in a dose state as regard the ele election itself. So what can be done to ensure that the campaigns, um, the election itself is conducted in a way that doesn't endanger public safety? It's unfortunate the tension has gone so high now that you cannot predict what is coming. Uh, you can see the way the tension started building when the incumbent governor uh, was contesting for primary in APC and eventually left to PDP. No one can predict how this will turn out in days before election. But what is instructive in the whole of this is that people should be conscious of the fact that there will be posterity to judge all their actions today, especially those who wield political power. People should be conscious of the fact that if you break the law, if you incite violence, you cannot run away to escape forever. Now, INEC has also made it clear if the parties involved do not allow for a peaceful uh, atmosphere for the election to take place, uh, INEC will have no choice either to postpone it or to shift it another day. But I think my advice to the political actors on all the divide, both in APC and PDP and the other yeah. parties, is that they should remember that if this is about serving the people, it's not worth the blood of the Edo people. All right. Uh, public Affairs Analyst Daniel Akinlami, thanks for talking to TVC News. It's my pleasure.